Greetings and salutations, Geo Nerds. What's this beautiful piece of God's country out near Wyvernhoe Dam got to do with this horrible torture that went on in Brisbane, in Queen Street, I might add, and this brutal person and where he was murdered? Hang around, we'll, we'll find, find out, out together. together. Well, folks, today we're going to talk about this brute. Good old Captain Patrick Logan. Commandant of Morton Bay Settlement between 1826 and 1830 uh, until his untimely death uh, at the hands of supposedly Aboriginals. Um, he was appointed by um, this brutal shithead, uh, Ralph Darling, who was the Governor of New South Wales, which is, of course, what we all were in those days. And... Uh, yeah, so they were both shitheads, and they, they thought very much of each other. And uh, so here we have uh, Captain Logan's uh, favourite pastime, having prisoners and his own men flogged, I might add. He was an equal opportunity shithead. He would flog his own men, and that's why he was hated, probably more by his own men than he was by the prisoners. So yeah, uh, when he was killed, there was a queue to work out who killed him. Uh, and he was in this area, uh, Limestone, which was uh, Ipswich in the old days, heading up to Mount Beppo, which is uh, was then called Mount Irwin, now called Mount Beppo, there it is there. And he was on the way when uh, a misadventure fell upon him. Uh, the Aboriginals may have killed him, but they certainly didn't bury him. So anyway, uh, nowadays we have a thing called Wyvernhoe Dam. And, uh, and yeah, there's Logan's Inlet, Logan's Creek, Captain Logan's Reserve. I think there could be a bit of a giveaway there. So what I've done is I've pulled up a uh, map from before Wyvernhoe Dam existed. This is 1944. And you can still see the junction of what is now called Logan's Creek and the Brisbane River. And this is where they found his body. Just in there somewhere. The exact location is not known. So if I put them on top of each other and do our old time slide duba that we do, uh, you can see that is where it is in the modern map. And no, you can't get to that because, you know, you'd need a boat. Why well, you'd want to anyway, but uh, there it is, uh, and there is uh, uh, some places fairly close to it you can get. Unfortunately, Geo Nerds, we can't do this one on public transport, it's a bit too far out. This one's from 1964, so uh, it's a fairly late map before Wyvernhoe. So you can see there the map of the Logan Creek and the junction where it joins the river. This one is from 1864, so this is not long after he was killed. Uh, and uh, this is a, uh, uh, you can see it there, it was called Logan Creek by then, they'd already named it after him. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty good representation. Here's the modern area, uh, Wyvernhoe Visitor Centre down the bottom there, you just drive up the road, you can drive in. Sorry, no public transport this time. And uh, I'll put a little X on there so you can see where it was. Uh, there we are, and uh, yeah, that's how you get there. Now, was he a shithead? Absolutely he was a shithead. Uh, no one deserves to die, but you know, this guy probably was close to qualifying. But the queue of people that wanted to kill him was so long, they just blamed it on the Aboriginals. You know, easy to do. There's no way they buried him. No chance. He was buried naked. They stole the uniform and everything. Just never happened. Anyway, keep rocking. T-Rock's out. <laughs>